good morning children i hope you all are enjoying your online classes children so children in our previous class we had learned about the addition but today we are going to learn about subtraction okay children in your previous class or in class 1 you have learned about the numbers how to subtract numbers up to two digit okay but in this class children we are going to learn the numbers up to three digit so before we move ahead let's take a quick recall okay of our previous class so children subtraction first we'll do subtraction so we'll subtract 53 from 99 so first we write this in expanded form in tens tens and ones form so 9 and 9 ones and then 5 tens 3 ones okay so here first we take Tens and tens, and then we'll take ones and ones. So nine minus five, and nine minus three. So nine minus five, four, and nine minus three, six. So what we'll get over here? Forty-six. So by subtracting fifty-three from ninety-nine, we'll get forty-six. Okay, children. Then we'll move on to vertical subtraction. Okay, this is done without borrowing. Okay. So first nine. Nine minus seven, two six minus nothing. Okay, because if no number is written here, that means we assume zero. Zero means nothing, children. So six minus zero, six. Okay, again eight minus five, three, two minus zero, two. Okay, so do all other two sums also in this the same way. Then we'll move on to the problem sum, children. So here, our father of Dolly. He invited seventy-five guests in his dolly house. Okay, and only sixty-three guests arrived. So, how many guests did not come to the party? So, we'll do subtraction over here to get the exact number of guests who did not come to the party. So, here total number of guests. Okay, I'm writing in a short form, children, but you write in a full form. Guest. Okay, seventy-five. And then guest arrived. Sixty <coughs> three. Then we'll minus sixty three from seventy five. We'll get twelve. Okay, so that means twelve guests did not arrive at the party. So in this way we'll do the other sums also. Okay, children. So let's now we'll move on to subtraction with borrowing. Okay, so let's take this example, children. We subtract seven from forty two. Okay, so first we write this number in a tens and ones form, forty two. Okay, and only ones is there, seven ones is there. So, so write seven under ones form. So step number one, children. We know that seven is greater than two, children, and we cannot subtract seven from two. So we borrow one ten from the four tens number. Okay, so let's take. So when we borrow one from uh, four, so it becomes. Twelve tens, so we'll cut two and we we'll minus seven from twelve. Okay, so we'll get five over here. So how much is left over here? Three tens are left. Okay, so we again cross this four and we'll get three and no number is written over here. So three tens are there. So we'll get thirty-five when we minus seven from forty-two. Okay, children. So in this way we'll do exercise number. Forty one. Fill in the box. Four tens minus one ten, three ten, and one ten plus seven ones seventeen ones. Because one ten is equal to ten. Okay, so ten plus seven seventeen. So do B and C again in the same way. Then we'll move on to subtraction. <coughs> This one. So sixty one minus five four. So one is less than five, so we'll take one ten from here. So we cut one, we make here eleven. So eleven minus and we cut here six, we make it five. Okay, so eleven minus five, six. Okay, and five is twelve. Okay, so we'll get fifty six over here. Similarly here also, sixteen here becomes five. Okay, so 
16 minus 8, 8, 15, 8. So in this way, do the other sum. Okay, children. Let's move. Children, let's move on to other subtraction with more boring. And this subtraction, children, will do two, take two digit number from bigger two digit number. Okay. So let us subtract 47 from 64. So again, we are going to write it under the form of tens and ones. 64, 47. Okay. Then again, children, you know that 4 is 7 cannot be minus from 4. So we'll take 110 from here and we write 14 over here and we cut 4. So 14 minus 7, 7. Okay. So here step number 2. Then this 6, it becomes 5 tens. So 5 tens minus 4 tens will get 1. Ten. Okay. So we'll get 17 after subtracting 47 from 64. Okay, children. So do all these sums according to the same method okay so let's do size 4.2 okay the subtraction 5 minus 6 it, can, it is not possible so you will borrow 1 from here so it becomes 15 and 15 minus 6 will get over here 9 okay and here 5 is left so 5 minus 5 0 okay so we'll get total 9 again 11 minus 5 it is not possible so we we'll write take uh, 1 from here it becomes 11 11 minus 5 6 okay here 6 6 minus 1 5 okay children so do all these sums according to the same method okay now children we'll do subtraction of three digit numbers with borrowing okay now in class one children we have learned uh, subtract how to subtract two digit number from a greater two digit number by grouping tens and ones okay so here we are going to learn about subtraction of three digit number from greater three digit number in the same way children so let us minus 324 from 867 okay so first we write it in our expanded form 800 6 tens, 7 ones, 300, 2 tens, 4 ones. Okay, so we'll take 100, 100 in this one side, 8, 3, then 6 tens, 2 tens, 7 ones, 4 ones. Okay, <coughs> then what it becomes 8 minus 3, 500, 6 minus 2, 4 tens, 7 minus 3, 4, 3 ones. So we'll get 350. 543 so let's do exercise 4.3 okay so first term will minus 40 432 from 649 so first we write in the expanded form as uh, 604 tens and 9 ones similarly 403 tens 2 1 then we'll take 100 100 6 minus 4 then we'll take tens tens 4 minus 3 9 minus 2 6 minus 4 2 4 minus 3 1 and 9 minus 2 7 okay so what it becomes 217 okay so children do other sums also in the same way okay children then we'll do sub vertical sub subtraction with borrowing okay children then we'll do this sum again same method first we write in the form of so we in this children will subtract 145 from 957 again we write we're going to write it in the 100 tens and ones form children so here 957 145 so first we start from the ones okay so 7 minus 5 2 then again we'll go for tens 5 minus 4 1 then we'll go for 100 9 minus 1 8 so we'll get 812 okay so let's do exercise 
4.4 okay so again subtract these numbers to win 8 minus 5 3 6 minus 2 4 5 minus 1 4 okay so we'll get 443 here then again second seven, 7 minus 2 5 9 minus 7 2 8 minus 2 6 okay so in this way children do the other sums okay also okay children in your copy then we'll move on to vertical section without boring okay children the children this vertical section without boring we'll learn in the next class okay children so that is all for today and your homework is children do the exercise 4.1 4.2 4.3 and 4.4 in your copy okay and send it through the whatsapp so that is all for today children thank you and goodbye